What's up, Divas? Hey, what's up, Divos? It's your girl, April, and of course, you already guys know that. But today's video, first of all, I'm going to apologize in advance if you see the color kind of like washing in and washing out. It's a gloomy day, and you guys know how much I love a gloomy day. So anyway, yes, I did promise you guys a head wrap tutorial video, and that is what this is all about. So for one, the head wrap that I have on today is, um, I'm not really sure what type of head wrap this is. I go to Savers Thrift Store. Um, I, I do find a lot of my scarves that I've worn, um, a majority of 90% of them come from that thrift store. And I know a lot of people ask me where do I get my scarves from and I get them from Savers Thrift Store. So you can always check in their um, accessory aisle with any thrift store where they all have like the belts and things. You should see head scarves. I'm like 80% of the time, every scarf that I get is brand new with tags still hanging on it. However, they'll sell it for their own price too. So you'll see like say it was from Old Navy, like one of them, you'll see the Old Navy tag and then you'll see the Savers tag. Okay, but I normally go on like a two dollar day, which is now Wednesdays opposed to so used to be called two dollar Tuesdays Which had like a kind of like a ring to it now. It's called two dollar Wednesdays sounds totally stupid. Okay, totally But anyway, so I get a lot of my scarves from there So this one I did get from there and I'm not really sure if it's what kind of scarf this is It's a little bit thick not too thick It is cotton, but it's a little bit thicker and the way it's shaped So I'm thinking it was probably a sarong that was the means or the intentions of it But you know what? But I use whatever kind of scarf that I find that I like and I just use it for my head Like I was saying a majority of my scarves come from that thrift store um, this, this one I don't remember if it was brand new or not, but if it's not brand new It doesn't have tags on it. Just take it home and wash it and I like to get the ones that are kind of like they don't have to be too wide and sometimes I'll fold them in half depending on what kind of scarf look I'm going for a lot of times I'll leave them like this, but they're rather long and I do really prefer I like the ones with these at the bottom I'm not really sure why but it doesn't have to be so that is one now for my trip recently there um, I did pick up this one it is not as long as this one right here So this one here is super long and I have on some pajama shorts, so yeah, there you go. So this one is like about 65 inches in length. And as for the width of this one, as you see, I do have it folded in half, so it does get wider. And I love the ones that are really wide like this because, first of all, it'll be a much thicker product to use. So all you have to do is fold it in half another time. So you can always go to the fabric store and purchase some. And the fabric store always has like a great sale. So the width is 44 inches, or you can get 22 inches across, either way, because you're gonna fold it. So what you wanna do is you wanna fold it in half, take this, and I'm going to have the open portion where the seam is at, and I'm gonna have this towards the front of my head, and I'm going to have the folded portion towards the back. So now you look like, you know, you're just trying to hide from paparazzi and you have them like this and of course you do have kind of like a hood over you so you want to this is just the simplest one that I'll do I'll take it and I'll pull it make sure that they're both like at the same length and make sure your ears are kind of like tucked in and I'll take it and I'll pull it tight and I'll just cross one over the other and more or less I'll just take the other one bottom and start twisting them you can knot it if you want but that's just a different way but this is one of the easy ways and I'll just take it and I'll start twisting the fabric together like if I was twisting hairstyles and I'll just wrap it really tight you want to make sure that it's kind of tight while you're twisting so you want to twist all the way to the bottom like so and you can leave your ears just for the end now you see how I have this and I have like this long piece right here kind of like a trunk I'm going to take it and pull it up wrap it around and when you make it so tight when you're twisting it tight it's kind of like stiff which also helps it hold and you want to wrap it as many times as you can and you want to take the end and take your thumb and tuck it in between those twisted little braids and there you have it you can either leave it as so fix your ears though or you can take it from underneath a little bit and push it up and that's just one way that you can do it, which is really simple. Also, you can also knot it. Same concept. You want it like this. Bring it up. Now you could either knot it like this by pulling it inward, or you can take your hand 
and pull it through. And it kind of gives a different hold to me. So I'll take my hand and I'll pull one of them through. You want to pull it as tight as you can be, or it can be. Don't, don't give yourself a scarf headache, but you know what I'm saying? Now you see it's knotted, and I'll just take the fabric like so, and I'll kind of like twist it, twirl it like this, twirl, and I'll take it and I'll pull. It doesn't matter if you go under or over, but I like to start off going over the top. And there you have one, and I'll take the end, tuck it, then I'll take the next one and twirl. So I'm gonna go under this time. You can start either way, and then there you have it. You just wanna make sure you tuck it to where you don't see any little strings. Just take your fingers and tuck it like that. Sometimes I've had to even take bobby pins and just hide the little strings. And there you have it. I'm going to kind of like give myself a fake bun inside. So I'm going to use this scarf here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. I'm going to take it in my hand and just wrap it around. Kind of like making a kind of like circle with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, which is like my little faux bun. I'm just going to set that on top of my head. I'm going to take the same scarf. This time I'm going to knot it the other way by pulling the material through. Now as for the material, I'm just going to twirl it again each end. Take it, you can either wrap it underneath and around until you meet the end and tuck. And the same thing goes for this side. Pull it down on the back, pull it. I'll take it my hand through. I'm gonna take the one that I used to make a bun with, a faux bun, and I wanna make it really thick. So I'm just going to kind of like tie this here. Wrap it around first. I'm going to tuck this extra piece in. Then I'm going to take these pieces here and I'm going to open this out. And I'm just going to wrap. First I'm going to start going this way. I'm going to leave it open so that it could be kind of like fluffy, what have you. I'm going to loosen it because it's kind of tight. When you have it too tight, it looks kind of weird. Take the end and take it in. Twirl the end. Push it in, push it back. Now this is when I want it to be like super duper big. Like this is really big, but you know what? For those of you who like them to be really big, you can. If you, the tighter you wrap it, the higher it'll be, you know what I'm saying? So if you just want it to be really wide, then you don't need like two of these and just kind of like do it kind of like loose, you know, kind of like wrap it around, kind of loose, but not so loose to where it's coming apart or like not staying. And then twirl the ends. And I say twirl the ends because, you know, if you don't, then it's gonna be hanging all over the place. So you want to kind of like get, gather the ends together as best as possible and then just go the opposite direction. You know what I mean? And see, when I get to the end, I just twirl it and tuck it because if you don't, it's like super loose and tuck your tags in. You just got to mess with it and make sure that it's tucked in. Now, and there you have it. The more that you practice, the more tighter it'll get and it'll stay. You just have to mess around with it. If you want it like really fluffy, then you would do it really loose. Sometimes what I do, it depends on the fabric. You take like a rubber band, it could be any rubber band, um, and just 
secure it at the end just like if it was hair and that way it'll stay just twirl it really well at the end and get yourself a rubber band a good rubber band not one of those really tiny ones and so that way you can go around it a few times so that way it can hold and you can tuck it right in and it's perfect so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial it's probably all over the place but yes yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay diva and divalicious as always and make sure you rate comment subscribe I see you guys on my next video and I love you